I had never been on a movie. I went to school at CalArts at the time, and I'd heard about this movie being made by the man who made American Graffiti. I was 23 when I started. The idea of you know, doing a feature and doing visual effects for a feature was, uh, was attractive to me. I was fortunate enough to work on Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. Still is, is the most exciting film I've ever worked on. It changed my life radically. Probably the best time of my life. That was the best phone call I ever got. Jedi was my first movie. It was sort of like an answer to a prayer. I, I was just dumbfounded at what we were doing here. The most interesting part of filmmaking I'd ever done. It changed everything. Oh God, it changed a lot. I'd come to work and work every day and, and go home at night and not even hardly be aware that I had worked. When I was at work, I could not believe I was doing this. Worked on Jedi for the last six months of the show, conducting what would be the world's greatest scavenger hunt. You could buy stuff to make into stuff, but everything was done uh, from scratch. How do we take these disparate pieces, take the resources out of the ground? Literally started with an empty building. I mean, there was nothing. Not only did I have to put a crew together, I had to put the department together. How do engineers and artists take all these pieces? We didn't have internet or cell phones or video or... Everything was built here because you couldn't buy it. The camera equipment, the offices. I had to put my, my own desks together. Model shop. Built um, some creatures and some spaceships. Building spaceships making molds, gluing things, cutting pieces together. All kinds of things. Various sizes of spaceships. Keep using stuff with our hands. We painted on glass and we painted on masonite. We shot so many elements every day, every day. Ships and, you know, lots of spaceships and lots of motion control. Miniature photography, high-speed photography, uh, blue screen. Producing 365 visual effects shots blue screenshots, which had never been done before. They needed someone to wire a blue screen, and I came in and wired that up. Stop motion. Hey, you need that thing wired? Yeah, how about that thing? Light it, shoot it, set it up, get it in the RAR. Send it into optical. Like the lasers, I gave them perspective. And then in midair on an aerial image printer, somehow managed to fuse it together. And come out on film. Rearrangement of silver oxide on a piece of celluloid and come up with brilliance on demand every day. At the end of the day or the next morning, you see your, the, the result of your work, and it just blew my mind. It just was extraordinary. As it went along, I realized this is really something special. We all worked on this gigantic piece of art that the whole world gets to see. It shouldn't work, but somehow it always did. I have nothing but fond memories of all the fun and, and the, the great work that was done here by a very unique group of people. I'd never been to a place that had so many creative people that did so many things so well. Working with all these people, amazing talent. I found myself, instead of working for a corporation, I was working in a family. I didn't want to disappoint them, but uh, <laughs> I'm certainly glad that I stayed with it. What did Star Wars do? What did Star Wars do for me? It set me on this incredible path. It set me off on a whole career path, which I had no idea I was going to be on. It produced a whole generation of people that were going to change not only the film business, but the world. Had no idea. Nobody knew that Star Wars was opening Ramen's Chinese, and we said, but it's Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> It was the magic of movies, and there it was, and we were part of it. Okay, guys, stop. We're done with the movie. It's a wrap. We're having a party in here. You guys can quit shooting, and you can join us now. And so we did. But my God, the momentum of the whole thing was, you were so...
shows that we are part of a community that matters to us. And the fact that we would show up here 40 years later to explore and share this amazing event, I am just so grateful. We'll put together our own independent crew, which is what we did, and you are the result. All of us changed the direction of filmmaking. Because of you, visions that were once completely impossible are now within reach. There's a saying, it takes a village. I believe it took an army. <laughs> an army of really creative people, hardworking people, talented people. We discover building ILM from scratch during production is like jumping out of a plane and stitching up the parachute during free fall. <laughs> what we did is we looked at the stuff and only went, what can we make it? What could we do to make it better? What could we do to make it better? Let's, let's make it better. 365 blue screen VistaVision optical composites. What's VistaVision? Let's get an ultrasonic film cleaner. Looks like the blue screen bounces off the spaceships. Let's call it blue spill. Let's draw a roto mat to extend the blue screen and call it a garbage mat. George came in every week and would check on our progress and he saw that I had a stop motion puppet that I made when I was a kid and he goes like, huh. What if we did the chess set of stop motion? Can I have that, that one that you made when you were a kid? And I'm like, sure. One shot's finished, 364 to go. <laughs> Once you start putting that sound in, it elevates it to something completely new. And that's the thrill. I love getting out in the parking lot at ILM and walking through the model shop and then out onto the backstage where the Death Star was always being assembled. And it was a thrill to get the footage back over here and see what we could do with it. The Star Wars visual effects happened because John Dykstra believed in the people he chose. He chose his horses and he let them run. He created the freedom to try and fail. The freedom to figure out how to succeed. Thank you, John, for teaching me how to create a crew a team. All of you, whether you worked on the first Star Wars or not, wouldn't have had a job here without John in LA when we did Star Wars. In my entire career, uh, I find that that is the experience that I most treasure and I'm most satisfied with. And I have all of you that worked together with us, and George and Gary, who supported us to do this, to think as well. And that's how we sewed the parachute during free fall. Let's get the hot tub Ready? And all I really want to say is some of the best years of my life were spent here in the building over there working with all of you. We are all like extremely lucky to have uh, lived there. I've just been hugging people and kissing people and loving being here. So thank you all for coming. So I just want to thank you for helping me have such great years here because of all the great work you did when I told you what to do and you did the right thing anyway. <laughs> This experience that we all lived through and survived will never happen again. Not to us, not to anybody else. It was a one-time thing, and I feel very lucky to have experienced it. I hope you do, too. It's the magic of movies. Long live the magic of movies. George says, happy 40th anniversary. Sorry I can't be with you. I'm in Europe making a quick Star Wars related appearance in celebration of the anniversary and won't be able to make it back in time. I have a message from Dennis Murin. I can't make it tonight, but I want you to know that all of you are the best and I care for each of you dearly. We were hired because of our skills, but we each brought our diverse interests and values, which I feel made our work somehow alive and real, like magic. And though we worked in separate departments, we were, then and now, part of the same team, ILM. I hope you all have a great time at the reunion, and thank you for all your work on the films, George. P.S. I hope the cake is tasty. Somebody eat a slice for me. And so, to the early graduates of the Experimental Film School of Industrial Light and Magic, who fought and won a revolution that changed Hollywood forever, congratulations, now party on. <laughs>